Caught on camera, a boat violently dragging a shark behind it. Hard to watch, but is this a crime? Good evening, I'm Stacy Scheibel. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. Outrage and disgust. Just a couple of the words being used to describe this video that's circulating on social media. It shows three men traveling at a high rate of speed in a boat with a large shark at the end of a line, and it's just being tossed around in the wake. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live in Palmetto tonight, where some of these men live. Tell us more about it, Peter. Yeah, right around the corner, Keith. The video is hard to watch. It shows those men laughing and pointing as the shark flails back and forth. You just saw it. And apparently being torn up in the fast-moving water. With the outboard engine running hard, the hook shark is seen being battered against the boat's wake. Look, it's already almost there. The video is drawing almost universal condemnation among sport fishermen and others. I asked some fishermen who just returned from a day in the Gulf to look at the video. Their reaction, total shock. You're just going to take off and go full throttle with knowing you have that uh, fish on the line. That's ridiculous. Complete lack of respect for the environment and other species. We have a good idea who the men are in the video, but we're not naming them because they have not been charged with a crime. I stopped by the home of one of the men on 4th Street West in Palmetto. A young woman told me there was nobody at home to talk about the shark incident. Then she threatened to call the police. In the driveway, a boat trailer, a car with a snook sticker on the back window. A block away, at the home of whom we believe is the captain of the boat, nobody answered the door. Sources tell News Channel 8 one or all of the men in the video have hired a local attorney. A Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission spokesman sent an email saying it is aware of the shark dragging incident and that the FWC takes this very seriously and is currently investigating this incident. We are attempting to identify the individuals in the video and where it took place. And I want to say again, none of the four men, including the one that actually took the pictures, is charged with any kind of a crime. The FWC is completely aware of this, and they're on the case. Keith? Well, Peter, we have those social media posts out there, and in one, we see one of these guys that we think is involved here holding a large white pelican, and the wings are spread out. Is the FWC looking into that as well? What do you know about that? I asked specifically about that, and the spokesperson tells me because they're not putting the names out, he can't comment on that. So once we get some names, we'll be able to uh, get all these dots put together. Well, it's hard to look at, like you say, and uh, makes you think for sure. Not a great idea for these yep. guys. Thank you, Peter Bernard, reporting live.